Spiders were walking on this planet millions of years before humans. So it should come as no surprise that ancient civilizations are steeped with myths and stories about spiders. And today we'll be speaking about the spider god Anasi, who is a central figure in African folklore. particularly in the traditions of the Akan people of West Africa. He is often depicted as a spider and is considered to be one of the most important trickster figures in African mythology. According to legend, Anasi was originally a man, but he was transformed into a spider by the sky god Nyam. Nyami had been so impressed by Anasi's cleverness and wit that he decided to give him the gift of immortality by transforming him into a spider. The story of how Anansi became a spider is a central part of African folklore and varies depending on the cultural tradition and the teller of the story. However, one of the most common tellings of the story goes like this. Once upon a time, Anansi was a man who lived in the African forest. He was known for his wit and cleverness, and he loved to play tricks on his friends and family. Over time, Anansi's reputation as a trickster grew, and he became famous throughout the land for his cunning and intelligence. One day, the sky god Nyami took notice of Anansi's wit and cleverness and decided to give him a special gift. Nyami transformed Anansi into a spider, which was considered one of the wisest and most cunning of all creatures. As a spider, Anansi would be able to spin webs and use his cleverness to escape danger, and he would live forever as a symbol of wit and wisdom. Anansi was pleased with his new form and quickly embraced his role as a trickster. He continued to play tricks on the other creatures of the forest, but now he was able to use his webs and cleverness to escape danger and outsmart his enemies. Over time, Anansi became known as one of the most important trickster figures in African mythology, and his tales were passed down from generation to generation, inspiring new stories and legend about his wit and cleverness. <laughs> As a spider, Anansi became known for his ability to outwit even the most powerful of gods and humans. He was often depicted as being more clever and cunning than the other animals, and was said to be able to talk his way out of any situation. One of the most famous stories about Anansi involves a contest between him and the other animals to see who could bring back the most valuable thing from the sky. Anansi was the only one that was able to outwit Nyami and returned with the most valuable of items, stories. In addition to his role as a trickster, Anansi was also considered to be the god of wisdom and was said to possess great knowledge of the world and the secrets of the universe. He was often called upon by humans to help them solve problems and to offer guidance and advice. In many African societies, the spider is seen as a symbol of cunning and intelligence, and Anansi's transformation into a spider reinforces this connection. Through his adventures as a spider, Anansi demonstrates his wit and cleverness, using these traits to overcome obstacles and avoid or defeat his enemies. In this way, Anansi's tales serve as moral stories that teach listeners the value of cleverness, wisdom, and wit. These stories often contain themes of good versus evil, and Anansi is often portrayed as a positive figure who uses his cunning for good rather than for harm.
the story of a Nazi's origin, and his relationship to the spider reflect the cultural belief in the power of storytelling and the importance of oral tradition. The tales about a Nazi have been passed down from generation to generation for many centuries and continue to be an important part of African heritage. Now, if you enjoyed this story, my friend Laura over at Grey Ghost Creations created a beautiful hand-drawn piece of art showcasing an African spider that encapsulates the theme of this story. I'll leave a link down below to her Etsy store if you want to pick up a piece of artwork to remind you of the story of Anansi. Well, as always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>